Tony. What's up, baby? So I'm going over this list of stuff um, for our 10-year anniversary party, and I'm going to let you know up front, it's not cheap. Okay. Okay. So the venue alone is 10000 10K? Yeah. Is that a problem? No. Okay. So the venue is 10000 We still got to get the limo. Got to get DJ Ace, uh, the flowers, and then the ice sculpture of us holding hands. So this writer's block thing that you have going on, you're going to get that under control, right? Because we have to pay for this, and I want to start booking stuff. Tasha, you have nothing to worry about. I okay. Hope, I hope not. All right. Okay. Right. Come on, AJ. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that They say marriage is about compromise. But it seemed like I was doing all the giving and she was doing all the taking. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I love Tanya, but damn. Sometimes it felt like I was pouring everything I had into a bottomless pit. She wanted a party fit for a queen. The only problem was my pockets wasn't exactly royal. Mmm, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Where you going? To my car. How about I walk you there? Mm-mm, my man can do that. Your man? So you got a man, huh? I got a man. That's cute. You got a woman, too. That's real. What? You got a woman. How you know that? I saw it all over your Instagram. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna just let you go then. All right, bye. For years, freelance writing was my side hustle. Matter of fact, during the busy season, I made more money writing than I did at my security job. But one day it was like I hit a wall. All of a sudden, I couldn't string more than a couple sentences together, and I had no clue why. Writing? It wasn't all about the money though. It was my getaway. A place where my thoughts could stretch their legs and run wild, if you know what I mean. I had to find that spark to reignite that flame, and I meet ASAP. Uh oh, hey. hey, Jason, how you doing? I'm doing good, how you been? I'm doing good. Thank That's you, good. thank That's you. That's good. That's um, good. Okay, so you've been on a job for about, what, a week? Yeah. So far? It's been a week. Yeah, so how you like it? I actually like it. You do? It's fine. Oh, that's Keeps good. Keeps me on my toes, stay busy, mm -hmm. you know, chasing the bad guys. Chasing the bad guys. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. good, that's good. I'm glad to hear it. Take care of yourself. Be safe. And at nighttime, because it gets really cold out here, don't forget, wear your jacket. Okay. It's cold out here. Okay? I can do that. All right. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. All right. I sure will. All right. You stay warm, too. I, I will. Thank you. <laughs> I've been doing a security job for at least 15 years, so I've got every nook and cranny of this place mapped out inside my head. I usually have time to sit down and try to do some writing, but I got this new dude I have to train. So the past few weeks have been like having a backseat driver. I always ask him questions. I always need direction. <laughs> he a pretty cool dude, though. He just eats into my daily grind just a bit. What's up, brother? Hey. Don't worry about that phone. How you doing? Okay, man. It's all oh. good. Don't worry about the phone. Bro. Okay, okay, okay. Say, so, hey, man, how you uh, enjoying your first week on the job? You know, it's going good. It's going good. I mean. That's a son. My favorite part is the females, oh. man. You didn't tell me about them. You didn't tell me about them, though. You didn't tell me it's going to be like Bro, don't get yourself in trouble, man. They up and down here all day, man. I've been here yeah. for a while now. Luckily, I got a ring on my finger. Right, Otherwise, right. I'd have been in trouble a long time ago, bro. Better behave, boy. <laughs> oh, everything. Yeah. So how long you been doing this? Because I can see that they really, really trust you. Man, actually, man, I've been here about 15 years. But don't get me wrong, man. They didn't start trusting me until I got to the 10-year mark, bro. <laughs> That's how it be. <laughs> yeah. You got to put in work. Yeah, it's like that sometime around here, man. But, yeah. yeah, 15 years. 15. Yeah, yeah. So what exactly do we do here? Oh, I'm lost. We are a uh, cryptocurrency investment firm. Oh. Man, we got clients all over the world, man. Okay. I'm not kidding, man. Millions of dollars roll through here, bruh. Nice. I don't know nice. about that crypto thing or whatever. You ain't cash like where we come from. Right, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. millions of dollars roll through here Shh. on the daily. Word? Yes, sir.
Hey, what's up with that brother right there, man? Man, you know what, man? That brother only started like a few days before you did, man. Uh, I haven't had the pleasure to meet him yet, man, but it's just something about that brother, man. I don't know what it is. It's something about him. You know, I was just getting the same vibe. Getting the same vibe, man. Here I am. I'm supposed to be hammering out words. But my thoughts were running like a stray dog. Sniffing at every corner except the one it was supposed to be on. The only problem was my clock was ticking and I only had a little bit of time before Tanya would be straight tripping. Two, 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 one, one, one. Now stop punching. Are we almost there? Come on, come on, come on. Four, four, three, two, and. Wow, good job. Hey, so Tom, what's the craziest thing that has happened to you on the job since you've been here, man? I've been thinking about it. Like, man, you know what? It's funny. You asked me, I was thinking about the other day. You know that uh, that rear exit that we got that leads to the back, the, the alley? Yeah, yeah. Well, man, one time I had to go to the back and secure the actual entrance exit. Uh-huh. So I opened the door. I tried to open the door. So I happened it was a homeless guy that was there in the doorway. Mm -hmm. I cracked the door. I said, excuse me, sir. You know, you blocking our entrance, our slash exit. And he like grumpy, he gets up, you know. So as he gets up, he takes a step or two away from me. All of a sudden he comes back in. Ooh, right, right, I'm like this too. I'm like, what's up, fool? You know? <laughs> yeah. Scared the shit out of me, I ain't gonna lie. He didn't catch one, did he? Nah, nah, wifey like, baby, you should have gave him a two piece. I'm like, baby, shut your ass. <laughs> Get me fired or something, <laughs> crazy. Oh yeah, you are married, huh? Yeah. That's cool, man, I'm proud of you, man. I got this girl I've been dating for about a year. You seen her, I'll show you pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, I've been with her for a year. Everything's looking up. Everything's going good. I think about tying the knot, man. Man, let me tell you something, Jay. That's a big, big commitment. Make sure you're ready. Makes sense. Man, take me for example. My wife, married 10 years. Mm -hmm. She wants to have a 10-year anniversary party at 10 years slash renewal vows. I'm like, huh? How am I supposed to pay for all this? Damn. I don't have a clue. How much something like that cost? All I know is this, man. Every time I talk to her, and that's every day, the price keep going higher, higher, and higher. Shit. How you intend on coming up with that money? Like, what's your plan? You know what, man? I used to be a great blog writer a few years back. I was actually real good at it. Somewhere down the way, man, I, I lost my motivation. I developed writer's block. I don't know. Hmm, so you said writer's block. Have you tried hypnosis? Hypnosis? Yeah, hypnotherapy. Come on, baby, I'm from the hood. I don't know about no... Come on, man, I don't know about no hypno. Look, man, hypnosis, it, like, okay, look. Hypnosis, okay. You seen the girl I'm with, for you, that, that I've been with for years. Right. You, you seen her, right? I, I seen her. Okay, look, now hypnotherapy, I've been doing it for years. It's worked wonders for me. Before I did hypnotherapy, Bro, I wasn't getting chicks like that, man. Mm. You seen her? Yeah. Okay, now, I've been doing it for years, like I said. It's been working. Wonders. I know somebody, man, they hook you up. First session's free. No risk. Nothing to be afraid of. I say you give it a shot, man. I don't know, man. Well, you got to lose. I'll tell you what. I'll think about it. All right, let's go. Come on, last run. Last First session free. First session free. First one's free. First one's free. All right. What? Other one. What? One, two. One, two, one, two. Four. Three. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. I just like that workout. Good, man. Yeah, I feel good. Yeah. Thanks for coming out, man. No, man. I appreciate the yeah. invite. Yeah. Appreciate the invite. Hey, also, too. By the way, make that call, man. Hypnosis. Yeah. I'm still thinking about it. Okay. Give it a thought. Okay. All right. All right. Have a good day, man. No doubt, bro. Why? Wow, come on, man. Tony, you were here watching the game. You supposed to be typing. Baby, I'm just trying to, you know, just I'm I'm, I'm just enjoying the game. I'm just watching the game. 
I see that. You're supposed to be typing. We got stuff to do. Tasha, I mean, how I keep telling you. I don't function that way. You know, I have to be in the move. I have to feel it in order to be able to write. Okay, I, 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 I got to have a flow. I got to get into a rhythm, but I don't have it right now. You know what, Tony? It's money out there to be made, and I feel like you're not trying to make it. That's not going to work. I just want to enjoy the game. I just want to enjoy the game. Please. But sometimes I, I feel like you don't want me to have the best. What I feel like I want, need, and deserve. Tasha, look at that ring on your finger. I see it. Look at your nails. I see it. Look at your hair. Look at all that gold you got around your neck. Come on, baby, I'll take good care of you. You do. Plus, you don't even have to work. Come on. But you knew that I didn't want to work when we met. You didn't have a problem with it then. So why is it an issue now? We got to make this money. I'm going to leave. Watch the game for a few more minutes, and then maybe your juices can get flowing so you can start typing. I'll stop looking. Just came to me. Excuse me, guys. I'm looking for somebody by the name of Richard. What's your business with Richard? Well, I heard he was good at what he does. And I can use some help. I think I understand. I think I understand. Let me get back with you in a bit, my brother. For sure. We'll continue this. Let me talk to you. Absolutely. Well, it's pretty clear that you understand what I do, but I have no idea why you're here. Tell me exactly why you came in today. Well, I happen to be a writer. Actually, I'm a creative writer. But lately I've been having writer's block. And I just want to be able to be creative again. That's all. Has there been anything that happened recently? Or even back further, if you can remember, uh, that might be causing the issue? Hmm. Nothing that comes to mind, I don't think I could say. There absolutely has to be something in your subconscious that's causing this issue. I'm more than certain that I can absolutely dig in as deep as possible and pull out exactly what you need to get back to your skill level and possibly even above. That's why I'm here, Richard. That's why I'm here. How soon would you be ready to start? Start? I mean, can I start now? I mean, like today? Absolutely. I can take care of you. What you're going to need to do is block out all other thoughts, all other feelings, any and all emotions, all other sounds besides my voice. Are you ready to begin? Yes. Close your eyes. We will now begin. This session is to cleanse and clear away any negative energy that you may have picked up along your life's journey. When you are not carrying these negative energies, you open yourself up to a whole new world of creative possibilities. Keep your eyes closed and begin to allow yourself to relax. 
take in a nice deep breath and hold it for the count of three. As you exhale that breath, imagine in your mind's eye the words letting go. As you exhale any tension that you may be experiencing, take another deep breath, filling the muscles in your body, relaxing and softening as you exhale, as you fall deeper into a state of relaxation. And there I was, walking around inside my subconscious mind. Kind of hard to explain, but it was like I was in a dream. Only this dream felt more real than reality itself. Everything felt more intense. The air, the colors, the sound. I could hear traffic and airplanes in the distance. But yet, I felt like I was all alone. As long as I was to this, for some reason, I felt in total control. This was a strange new world but it was my world. What's going on? We are now inside your subconscious mind. This is what my subconscious mind looked like? My garage? You are in complete charge. I would assume you picked your garage because it's where you feel most comfortable. Right. I do spend a lot of time here. So what's next? First, let me explain. The average person has over 60,000 thoughts per day, and 95% of those thoughts are the same program thoughts repeated from the day before, the day before that, and the day before that. The first seven years of our lives are spent observing and downloading information. These beliefs are then stored in our subconscious minds as programs that operate automatically. Some of these programs serve a good purpose, and some of them get in the way of what we wish to accomplish. These mental programs are hard to overcome when attempting to make changes in our lives. Because when our subconscious mind senses a deviation from the comfort of its internal self-image, it will work to keep us within the safe zones that are programmed inside it. The first step is to pinpoint which negative programs are halting your progress. Once this is accomplished, we can then reload your subconscious mind with new information to run as your new default programming. Okay, where do we begin? We begin by strengthening your ability to focus on my exact words. Imagine yourself inside of an elevator. As the elevator rises, imagine in your mind's eye the words, letting go. And here is when everything started to get real interesting. I didn't know much about what goes down in the subconscious mind, but I knew what a beautiful woman looked like. And there one stood, rocking a fly red jumpsuit, watching me as close as I was watching her. Even though this was all inside my head, real or not, your boy had to go in 
foreclosure loan. Just like that, she slipped right through my fingers. There was something about the way she moved, the way she carried herself. I felt like she wanted to show me something. But what? What did she represent? Was she the key to get him a writing groove back? I was dead set on seeing her again to find out. So how was your experience? It was beautiful. I really enjoyed that. But would I be able to write now? You may see some small improvements in your mood and energy, but you've got a ways to go before you fully recover. Are you willing to put in a few more sessions? Yes. I'm definitely willing to do more sessions. That felt great. Good. I'm looking forward to working with you. All right, son. Have a good day, man. All right. Thank you, guys. You too. I love you. They too. All right. Oh, I almost forgot. I gotta show you something. Here you go. It's a flag football league. $500 though, AJ? Is it that's good? Expensive. I mean, it has good reps and it's like competitive. Lately, man, you ain't really going all out, man, on your workouts. I'm trying, man. Next workout, you go all out, and I may consider. All right. I see. All right, son. Caress, what up? You want your mama. Couple things we gonna have to go ahead and look at. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hey, hey, what's going on, boss? What's going on, man? How you doing? Good, yeah, man. Good. To see you. All right, all hey, right. Man, let me introduce you to my frat brother, man. It's DL. Hey, DL. Sir. Pleasure, man. Nice to meet you, sir. Like man, what? he's doing a lot of great stuff. He's an investigator. Investigator. He's all. He's looking into some cybersecurity stuff we got going on here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great, man. Pleasure to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. All right, well. boss. Have a good one. Have a good one, man. Right now. Yes. Yeah. Man, a couple no. things we gotta look at. Yeah, I understand. Perkins. Gotcha. Yo, man, it's good to see you. To How see the family you. doing? Everybody's doing well, man. Everybody's doing good. Boys are growing up. Everybody's in college. College? College? Yeah, yeah man. You make me feel old. We old. <laughs> <laughs> nice home. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, man, for coming on up. You know how that is. Yeah, well, I might have to borrow something from you. We go way back, so anytime, baby. All right. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I can tell you got an extra pep in your step today, man. Actually, I do. Man, I feel yeah. real good, man. Yeah, you must have went to one of them sessions. Huh? Actually, I had my first one the other day. Nice, nice. You got to make sure to keep going, man. It gets, it gets better and better. Man, I'm looking forward to my next one. I can't wait mm. to go, man. Nice, nice. Anyway, man, I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. All right, brother. Oh, by the way, I forgot to clock in this morning. Do you think you can fix my time part for me? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Oh, good, man. Thank you. All right, I got you, bro. I'll see you in the morning. All right, all right. Have a good one. You too. All right, now.
Sorry. I was just going over my notes. Okay. It's okay. Take your time. So how was work today? Anything exciting? No. <laughs> Slow day is a good day in my line of work. That means nothing happened, if you know what I mean. <laughs> right. So let's get started. Um, I was wondering perhaps if we can do some more exploring like we did the last session. You enjoyed that part, didn't you? Yes, I actually did. Well, good, but not tonight. Okay. Tonight, we'll be working on raising your mental frequency and getting the best of you out of you we possibly can. Okay. In order to be a successful writer, you must first program your subconscious mind into thinking you already have the success and wealth that you desire. Right. Okay. Damn, this dude just ruined my day. But I had to trust the process, you know, let it take me where I needed to go. Hello? Hey, what's up, favorite cuz? How you been doing? I'm good, I'm good, how are you? I'm good too. Hey, you got a sec? I want to highlight you real quick about something if you got a minute. Hey, you called me at the perfect time. I'm just now getting out of teaching a yoga class. Okay, that's what's up. Hey, before I get into it, we haven't signed invitations yet, but we're having a 10 year anniversary party. I want to give you a heads up in advance. Oh, a 10 year anniversary party? Oh, y'all doing it big. Y'all doing it big. Yeah, we doing it big, all right. But that's a whole nother story. I gotta tell you about that one later. But what I hit you up for because I want to know your opinion on hypnosis. Hypnosis? Tony, why are you asking about hypnosis? Actually, I've done a few sessions already. I know it's late, but I thought I'd call my favorite cousin to get some advice. You gotta be careful, all right? You gotta be careful with that because you get too deep in it and a whole bunch of stuff comes out. You'll be dealing with some spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare? I ain't trying to get into all that. I just want to get my writing skills back. You know, I've been struggling for the last couple years now. Oh, have you tried meditation? I've tried meditation. It didn't work for me. I need somebody to guide me through it. I hear you. I mean, I, I hear you. Just, just be careful. Look, I trust this guy I'm working with. He came highly recommended. And anything don't seem right, I'm going to call my favorite cousin. Yeah, I'm here for you. I am. You know that. That's what's up. Well, anyway, how's the family doing? Oh, we doing good over here. Like, me and hubby, we, we get along. We doing what we need to do. You know, our kids are doing well in school. Like, I couldn't ask for a better life. Oh, okay. Bet. We'll send my love to everyone. And I'll let you real soon. I will, I will. Love you, too. All right, cuz. Love you more. All right, bye. Come on, harder, come on, come on. Come on, baby, tuck it and go. Good. Hey, little more energy, little more energy. First off, you're trying to do this. It's here, it's here. Why you can't do that? Switch ball, switch ball, switch ball. Don't go sideways over the hurdle, don't do that no more, okay? Let's get it. Did the same thing again. Whoa. Seem like you missed one. It's boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Come on. I need hotter feet though. Give me some hot feet. Give me some hot feet. Give me some hot feet. Come on. Hot feet, there you go, boy. There you go. There you go. Good catch, baby boy. Hey, give me five laps, okay? You know what? 
I'm gonna let you go ahead and play in that league after all. Good work today. Hey, Tony, long time no hear. How's my favorite writer doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Matter of fact, that's why I called. Really? We've been worried about you around here. I know the last time we spoke, you had some things going on. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to speak too soon, but let's just say I might be past all that now. Wait, are you saying that my favorite writer is back? I'm not saying I'm 100%, but I'm getting there. I actually been able to put a few things together these last few days. <laughs> okay, okay, well, you know, there's always a home for you and your work here. That goes without being said. I know, I know. I just want to give you a heads up, and plus, we need to connect anyways. Exactly. As much as we used to sit on the phone and gossip, I'm surprised either of us got any work done. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. Come on, let's bring some old days back. <laughs> right, right. Forget all this work. But since we have bills to pay, as soon as you put something together, send it over. I'll take a look at it. You know how the system works around here. Ain't nothing changed here. For sure, for sure. And thanks for being patient with me. I'll be sending you something over real soon. All right, I look forward to it. And we really need to have lunch soon. Yeah, let's get together like uh, next week. Sounds like a plan. Just let me know when, all right? All right, I will. For sure. Peace. What's up to all I got here as fast as I could, man? What's up, brother? How you doing? Doing good, man. Good, good, good. So what, what was the rush about? Wait, man, uh, I remember mean, asking you, man, uh, what type of experience you had occurred, man, when you did the hypnosis thing? Bro, I done had all kind of experiences. I'm talking about years. You know, I've been doing this for a long time, man. I'm talking about visions of dancing on top of the pyramids with Egyptians, bro. I'm talking about riding kangaroos. All real? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Man, I done had all kind of visions and dreams. Man, hold up, man. You ain't telling me all that, man. Yeah. For real. Yeah. You just never know. I'm saying the more you do it, the more visions you're going to have. So you got to just keep going, man. Why you ask? What kind of experiences have you had? Well, I've seen the most beautiful female that I think I ever imagined. Oh. I'm talking about the most beautiful. And the thing about it, man, is that it just seems so surreal. Like, it feels like it's real. Uh. And I can't get her off my mind, man. Ah, I sound like it's working, man. Yeah. Yo, man, you got to keep going. You got to keep doing it. The more you do it, I'm saying the more vivid the dreams get. And then not just that. The more you do it, I'm telling you, things that you see, vision, it's going to manifest itself into reality. Things in your life actually change, brother. Awesome. Yeah. I can't wait till my next session, brother. <laughs> I can't wait to you, brother. Let's keep at it. Yeah. Hey, I've been meaning to tell you, I seen old boy at the gym, the new guy. The new the new guy? Yeah. Did you talk to him or what? You know what, I tried to talk to him, but he was a little standoffish. Seemed kind of weird. Huh. I've been meaning to tell you, man. The other day, I was outside patrolling the front. I seen Patrick outside, and he actually was talking to an investigator. That's good. Some on the lines of something going on with the security system at work. I'm not really sure of the details, mm -hmm. but I'm going to keep an eye on that guy, man. Yeah, something about him. Yeah, I think you should. The food is ready. Is your friend staying for dinner or what? Hey, Jay, you got some time to, you know, stay for dinner? Yeah, I can stay. I can stay. Baby, give us a minute and uh, we'll, be, we'll be right in there. Don't let my food get cold. All right. I love it. Yes. Is there anything else that you had in mind? What do you think about a chandelier to be a wow factor as they walk in? Yes. And a custom built bar, open bar. I love to drink. And then we can have the live band with the singers right here. Mm -hmm, that'll fit. 
When you think about a chocolate fountain right there, I love chocolate covered strawberries. Ooh. And we can't forget about the kids. We gotta keep them entertained. What do you think about setting up a pizza bar right there? All kids love pizza, especially mine. All right. Yes, yes. What do you think about everything that we've talked about so far? I am here for it. I love it. I cannot wait. I'm excited. But, babe, Tony, I mean, you're just not gonna say nothing. That's kind of rude. She's saying all this stuff. I mean, do you like it? Are you okay with it? I mean, baby, if you like it, I mean, I love it. Okay, well, are you sure? I'm on your team. Okay, I just need to make sure, because this is what we want. Okay. Hey man, you think maybe we can step this up a little bit? I'm getting real desperate, and I don't have a whole lot of time left. I gotta get this money. Well, we absolutely can. But you've gotta be careful. To get there as quickly as it sounds like you're desperate to get, it's gonna take going in and digging very deep. Deep into your emotions, deep into your mind, deep into your past, deep into your potential future. Are you ready? Let's do it. I wanna go. Ready when you are, sir. So what do you got for me today? Well, I had planned on putting you through more manifestation training, but since time is of the essence, we'll move on to the next step. Okay. So what's the next step? This session will consist of finding the root cause of your problems. I will present a series of questions, and I ask that you not only be 100% with me, but with yourself. Okay. So let me have it. Tell me about your basic home life. Okay, well, I have a wife at home and a 13-year-old son. How is your relationship with your wife? I've been dealing with a lot of pressure lately. My wife, Tanya, she's always been a tough one to deal with. Tough? In what way? Selfish, greed, materialistic. You know, the typical wife stuff. But she's been on a whole new level these past few years. I see. I need you to think about this. Did anything traumatic happen around the time you stopped writing? I can tell you exactly what happened. I stopped writing when my younger brother, Kenneth, got arrested for burglary. Tell me what happened. Well, at the time, my brother was working at a warehouse, you know, stay out of trouble and whatnot. Then one night, someone broke in and stole all the inventory. The police said it was the inside job because Whoever did it, they somehow knew all the security codes. The next day, the police show up to my brother's house with a search warrant. Somebody put some of the stolen merchandise in the same hoodie used in the burglary inside his attic. Are you saying that your brother was innocent? To be honest, I don't know. I mean, he said he was innocent, but he's been in trouble before. And the story was wild as hell. I wanted to believe him. But the truth is, I don't think I ever really did. My brother was always full of wild stories. Tell me what happened next. We spent the next six months back and forth to the courthouse. But the hoodie and stolen items was all the jury needed. He ended up getting 10 years. And this affected your writing? Yes. I set it down with every intention of picking it back up. But my brother was convicted, I haven't been able to write ever since. I see. You clearly have some unfinished business with your brother's situation. That's definitely where we need to begin. Yeah. I'm still feeling guilty for not believing his story. I didn't do enough to help my brother out. You know, I think you're ready for the next step. What's that? I'm gonna allow you to choose a guide 
to guide you through this. Guide? But I thought you were my guide. I am. But this guy will be completely generated by your imagination. You can pick anyone you want. Anyone I want? Anyone. Close your eyes and let's begin. With your mind's eye, imagine yourself once again on an elevator, exiting at any floor of your choice. I was finally set free, and without a second thought, I was on a mission to track down baby girl from the bridge, the mystery woman who slipped away before. At first, it felt like I was chasing shadows, but then it hit me. This was my mental playground, my rules. I had the power to conjure up anything I wanted, and boom, she appeared, just as spellbinding as before. Who are you? I am the woman of your dreams. The woman of my dreams? Yes, I am a woman and I'm in your dreams. Wait a minute, are, are you here to guide me and get me through this? I'm here to do whatever you like. Amazing. Well, what would you like to do next? Would you like to go for a walk? Absolutely. Hey, what happened? Why'd you interrupt me? Remember, we're here for a reason. Use your guide to find your inner peace. That's it. Right, right. I, I got it. I got it. Find my inner peace. I'm on it. Would you like to go for a walk? Absolutely. Let's go. So, uh, are you going to be here to help me get through the process? Of course I am. Man, I should sure love that. Oh, yeah? Yes. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a security guard. I've been doing it now for 15 years. Oh, wow. I'm actually a writer. Okay. But for some reason, I lost my passion for writing. Yeah? What would happen? I don't know. And to tell you the truth, that's why I'm here. I'm sure I can help you with that. I sure hope so. Yeah? Yeah, I can't believe you're part of this hypnosis thing. I just can't believe it. No? I'm gonna find myself getting treatment a little more often than probably I should. That'll be a good thing. <laughs> Absolutely. What did you like to write about? I used to do poetry real good. Really? Uh, relationship stuff. You know, that, uh, that tabloid stuff? Mm -hmm. That was me. And then, I don't know, I just, maybe I might have woke up on the wrong side of bed one night. And I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't write no more. I was like, yeah, just, like you lost your mojo. Lost my mojo. I don't know, maybe perhaps I'm going through a lot of issues and things that I can't quite comprehend right now. Mm -hmm. My passion isn't right. Right. In other words, if... I could just be a writer. I would just be a writer full time. You know. We can work on that. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you through all of it. I love it. Yeah. Me too. Apparently, all I needed was someone to listen to a brother. Because after a few conversations with Baby, my fingers were dancing all on the keys. I was grinning like a fool because finally everything was clicking the way it used to. My writing was back, which means my side hustle was back. The only problem I was having was one. I wasn't just excited about my hypno sessions. I was becoming obsessed with my hypno sessions. 
I can't lie, my dream girl had me like where he's from. And two, my brother Ken's situation was still punching me in the gut. That's when I decided to do a little poking around, you know, see what I could turn up. Wasn't sure exactly what I was looking for, but it couldn't hurt, right? Right. Tom, what's hey, up? Thanks for coming. Hey, no problem, no problem. I got your text, so, you know, I came running, man. You called me out of my job, but I'm kind of happy for that. Too, you I know what I mean? It. I've been there putting in work. What, what you been up to? Oh, man, just taking care of home, man, you okay. know. Okay, okay. Minding your boss at home? Yes, sir. Yeah, I know how that is, man. But yes. let me tell you, let me start off saying, man, I'm sorry I ain't been able to come see your brother, man. You know what I mean? I know I've been kind of busy, but it, how's he doing? You know what, man? He's all right. Doing as best as well as he can be right now. Okay, okay. But man, the reason why I'm here, man, is that I'm doing my own investigation. Okay. And a lot of things are not adding up to me. I was hoping that maybe you might have knew somebody he was running with, maybe somebody he was hanging out with that maybe I do not know. Oh. Uh, you know, anything. I appreciate it. Well, you know, you, you put my back up against the wall because of how many people he was running with at the time. And so I really, I really can't pinpoint. Anything that comes to mind. Uh, anything, man. Uh, look. Tell you what, man, uh, let me see something. There was one girl that he used to be with. Her name is Kim. I don't know if he ever even tell you. In fact, do you know about Kim? Kim, I, I don't think that rings a bell. You don't know about Kim? I don't know about Kim. Man, that dude was in love with that girl, man. But I tell you what, I got her number. You got her number? I got a way that I could hook you up with her. That way, you know, it may shorten the lead that you're trying to deal with. So, oh, yeah. And this, this should help, man. But, man, I'm glad to hear that he's doing all right. Okay. All right. Oh, Bro, anything I can do to help? Thank you, man. I appreciate Now look who I just happened to run into, Mr. Suspicious himself. My gut's telling me something's up about this dude, so I decided to tell him, but keeping a good distance pretending like I was just strolling in the same direction. The next thing I knew, I started feeling myself, like I was some kind of private eye, starring in one of those 1970 gangster flicks. I couldn't tell what this dude was up to, but whatever it is, it wasn't right. As intriguing as this was, I had bigger fish to fry, or so I thought. My top priority was finding this Kim person my brother was dealing with. What's up with you, man? What's up, man? I, I know you. Tony. Tony. Security from the from the job, man. Tony. All right, man. What you got going on, man? Nice all to right, meet bro. you, man. How you doing? Doing all right, man. What you got uh, going on, man? I ain't doing much, man. I'm just out here, man. Uh, you know, putting a little work. You know, okay. Feeding the homeless. Little little community work, man. All hey, right. Hey, I'll catch you, my guy. Have a Tony. good one. All right, man.
Hello, who is this? Yeah, this Ken Walker, brother. Tony, I was looking for Kim. Now what is this all about? Because I barely even knew your brother. Oh really? Because I heard you guys had something going on a few years back. Oh yeah? Well, that was one big ass lie and I've been done with it. Lie? What lie? What the hell are you talking about? Okay, you know what? You need to be talking to my cousin Daphne, not me. Who's your cousin Daphne? And what does she have to do with my brother Ken? Look, that's not for me to tell, but I'm gonna do you a favor and let her know you called, okay? The f bitch. This is Tony. Hello, Mr. Walker. Who is this? It's Daphne. I hear you've been looking for me? That's right. This is Ken's older brother, Tony. Oh, I know all about you, Mr. Walker. I have a few minutes in between my clients. Can you meet me in the back of my shop in, let's say, 15 minutes? Yeah, uh, just shoot me the location. All right. Hello, Mr. Walker. Hello, Miss Daphne. Call me Tony. I take it that you came here to talk to me about your brother, Ken. What do you want from me? Well, my first question is, why did everyone think he was dating this other woman named Kim instead of you? Why all the secrets? <laughs> you don't waste any time getting to the good stuff, do you? Time is something I don't have a whole lot of. So if you don't mind. Before I answer anything, what do you want? Okay, I'll get to the point then. My brother said he didn't rob that warehouse. I was wondering if you could tell me anything about that. Look, I know for sure Ken was innocent. Oh yeah? How do you know? <sighs> because he was with me that night, there is no way that he could have done it. If he was with you that night, why didn't he just want an alibi? Because he was trying to protect me. I don't understand. Protect you? Protect you from what? I'm married, Mr. Walker. Tony, whatever your name is. I'm married to a very dangerous man. One who wouldn't hesitate to kill us both. Do you understand what happened now? Ken went to trial knowing he was innocent thinking he didn't need my testimony. Okay. That makes sense. But it still doesn't explain who set him up. <laughs> How do I know this dangerous husband of yours wasn't the one that set him up? My husband isn't the set you up type. He's the cut you up type. Matter of fact, I don't even feel comfortable speaking to you anymore. I gotta go. Oh. So you just gonna walk away from my brother just like that? You mean like you did? When Ken repeatedly told you that he was innocent? At least I had a legitimate reason to not step up. What was your excuse? Nigga, please. Goodbye, Mr. Walker. And I wouldn't come around here anymore if I was you. It's not safe. Damn. She nailed it. And I had absolutely no comeback. Her words hit hard, and I deserve every bit of it. I left my brother hanging, and if she thought that way, 
He damn sure did. So where you been all day? Uh, you know, I just, just went for a drive, that's all. Just went for a drive. You know what? You've been acting real distant lately. What's up with that? Having a few issues at work, but it ain't nothing to worry about. Everything will be okay. Minor issues at the job, but you're coming home and taking it out on me. Tasha, I'm not taking anything out on you. What are you talking about? It seems like you are. And as a matter of fact, I have a problem with you going to all these therapy sessions, spending so much time with this therapist. Really? The only reason why I'm doing this therapy thing is for you, so I get my writing motivation back. Not to mention I gotta pay for this stupid ass part. Stupid party? We don't have to have this party. Sounds like you don't want to have it. No, it's not. Well, it's not like that. It's just... I don't know, baby, but... Hey, I got, I got my therapy session coming up, baby. I gotta get out of here. Of course, it's time for your next therapy session. Okay. Bye, Tasha. Look like you got something on your mind today, brother. Is there something we need to talk about? Nothing I can't handle. I want to go under now. You need to get there? Please. Let's get there. So is everything okay? You seem frazzled. Yeah, I'm frazzled, all right. I just got confirmation that my brother really was innocent. He was framed, just like he said. Where are you getting this information from? I looked into it myself. I checked out all the information that my brother had told me about, and it was all right there. It was all right there from the jump. So do you know who set your brother up? No, but now I'm positive that he was set up. My brother was telling the truth the whole time. Wow, this is all great news. So what's your next move? I'm not going to the police just yet. I'm going to get my brother a lawyer. A good lawyer this time. One that can open this case back up. Well, that kind of lawyer costs you a lot of money. It'll be tough raising the money, but I'm confident I can do it now. Thanks to you. I'm just glad I was here to help, my brother. I'm just glad I was here to help. Nickel. Mr. Jackson, how you doing, man? Well, good, how you doing, man? I'm blessed. I can't complain. Man, you looking good, brother. Hey, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to look as good as you, man. Hey, you know, I try, man. I try to look good every so often. Okay, okay. I see you coming out, so how's business? Oh, man, business is better school, all right. It's doing okay. It's going okay. This okay? Yeah, it's going all right. Well, word on the street is y'all killing it. I mean, it's going all right. I, I will say that, you know, our clients are pretty happy. I can tell you that much. Okay, okay. Okay, well, there's, there's money to be made. How can I get there? Well, there's a lot of money on the table, so, I mean, I guess first you can buy lunch and we can talk it over. Buy lunch? Really? <laughs> yeah, man, lunch. Wow. I can do that. Okay, I can buy lunch. You can buy lunch? Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess we'll probably go grab... Well, hold on, let me take this phone call real quick, okay? Okay. Must be some money calling. Hey, man, what's the word? You got a sack to talk? Yeah, man, I'm just heading to lunch right now. What's going on? Well, here's the deal. We ran a check on the whole system. There's no breaches yet, but there's definitely been somebody trying to get in remotely. Is that right? The only problem is whoever's doing this is too sophisticated for us to track. But don't worry. I have a buddy over at FBI. He owes me a few favors. He'll, he'll check it out for me and get back to me pretty quickly. I appreciate it, man. Just keep me posted, okay? I will, for sure. Have a good one.
So I don't know what's been going on with you lately. You just been different. Not spending time with me, you just been off. What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong. Everything's okay. I don't know what you're talking about. No, something is different. Something is just off. I don't know. It's not right. Everything is good. Everything is okay. You don't have anything to worry about. If you say so. Wow. All the work I put in, and this the thanks I get? I was sick and tired of telling you selfish ways. It was always her reality or nothing. I thought at this point, the only person who really had my back was my dream girl. And I couldn't wait to see her again. Close your eyes. There you go. Here I am. Hi, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine, you look so beautiful. Well, thank you. As normal. You look amazing as well. Man, I've been meaning to tell you, thank you for encouraging me to get back to writing again. My writing has improved 100%. I know it's because the good energy you've been putting inside me and the motivation you share with me. I love to hear that. It really makes me feel good. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm here with you, there's something about this here, it just seems right. It's like magic. Yes. Yeah. I mean, like, you're my dream girl. You're the girl of my dreams. Yes, I am. And you're in my dream. Yes, I am. I don't ever want it to stop. It doesn't have to. <sighs> Absolutely. Would you like to dance? Sure. So it turns out, all I needed was someone positive in my life, someone to listen to what I had to say, and offer a little encouragement. I guess my subconscious mind knew that all along. That's why it introduced me to my dream girl. I know all this sounds a bit odd, but I felt like I was on a bullet train, headed towards a promising future, and I was going to ride it till the wheels fall off. Hey, Dad, it's me, AJ. I was calling to tell you that I met the football team. Call me back when you get this, all right? Bye. And while I was missing a proud daddy moment, all oh, hell was breaking loose at work. My uncle always used to say, boy, beware of the calm before the storm. And damn, he was right. the size I always have them. Tasha, you getting your hair done again? What's up, Nikki? Yes, I'm getting my hair done again. I can't have the same style I had last week. How are you expect us to pay for this party when you continue to spend money? You need to not be worried about me spending money on my hair. You need to be worried about your boss. He's been blowing me up looking for you. You need to call him. I just came from therapy and I have my phone on silent. He has. I don't have time for this right now. I'll talk to you later. Anyway, Nikki, like I said, so the edges I need you to please curl, slip them down. So what's the emergency? Why'd you call me in on my day off? <laughs> I'm surprised you showed up. What's that supposed to mean? Come with me.
Go ahead and have a seat. Uh, you want some water or something? Sure, I have a drink. Right. Nova. Yeah. She bring some water in. Come on in with us. Thank you. Let me cut to the chase, man. Five million in crypto was stolen from the company's wallet last night. What? How does something like that even happen? Don't we have some sort of cybersecurity system here? You have excellent cybersecurity, but this was done by a much more excellent thief. I still don't understand how something like that could even happen. Well, we were hoping that you would help us find out. Tell us how it happened. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, man. What you should be doing, you should be asking him. This guy right here is the one that's been doing suspicious activity. And I've been keeping a close eye on him. Nah. Guarantee you it wasn't him. Because he was with me. This is Detective Nova. I had him go undercover. Exactly when we start figuring out that something was going on with the servers. The only one knew about him was Patrick. And it worked out real well for us, too. So, yeah, it worked out real good. This is what you call an open and shut case. Hold on. Wait a minute, what do you mean, open and shut case? Yeah, we figured you'd say that. That's why we brought all this evidence. See, we've traced the IP address to the exact building that you've been going in and out of for the last few days. Wait, wait, wait. And the cameras that we installed verifies exactly when you were in and out of that building. And to top it all off, the actual theft was made with somebody using your login and your thumbprint. Wait a minute. No, that's the part that makes it an open and shut case. What building are you guys talking about? Uh, let's see. 1116 L Street. 1116 L Street. You should make it easy on all of us, man. And just confess. Away. Make that call. Hypnosis. Yeah. Well, you may have guessed it by now. Your boy was completely bamboozled. I was hypnotized, all right, but not the way you and I thought. The whole time I thought I was in complete control. When this dude was really moving me around on puppet strings. All the personal questions he asked and everything me and baby girl talked about was designed to get enough information to hack into my company's digital wallets. And oh yeah, leave me holding the bag to the tune of six million dollars. Damn, they got me. You know what, Nova? I'm tired of this. Let's get this guy out of here, man. I want to go watch the game. Can you give my wife a call, man? Then I'm taking me in, man. Don't worry about it, man. I got you. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you a story of the finest manipulation. Tony, bless his heart, was tailor-made for the con. 
driven by love, willing to bend over backwards for his better half, setting the stage for my grand performance. First, always keep an ace in the hole, like a cousin who specialized in psychological warfare in the army. Second, get as close as you possibly can to the subject. The unsuspecting friend at work is always a good one. It's also good to have something to sweeten the pot. Matter of fact, make that pot as sweet as you can. <laughs> Next, recruit someone who will always, and I mean always, choose greed over everything else. Mm -mm -mm. And last but not least, always go back to the same well until it runs dry. I mean, if one brother falls for it, the other one certainly will. Right? Right.